distributor, if you're doing theatrical, that kind of relationship runs its course after theatrical, but let's use the you know foreign sales agent or just sales agent relationship. Uh, maybe things have gone south, money is not coming in the way you expect, or contracts aren't being honored. How can you put safeguards in your contract, like performance clauses, so that you have an exit strategy, and how can you break up with a sales agent? Mm, you're talking more on the foreign side now, yeah. right? I think you just said it. I think you have, they have a, they have to hit a minimum performance level, or, or you can get out of the deal. And then, what is that usually? Is that a dollar amount at a year amount? So X amount maybe of dollars. Maybe it's a year. By... Maybe it's eighteen months. Maybe it's two years. Okay. If they haven't returned a certain amount of money to you, have the right to get out of the deal. Of course, it'll never be the same. You know, right. you're only a new film once. Yep. Um, you know, it's 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 going to be damaged goods after that. But, right. But maybe you can mitigate the damage. Okay. Is it better to have it back and go your own way? Mm, probably. And start over with someone new? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Are there any other safeguards that independent filmmakers should try to negotiate for in these contracts? On the, on the foreign side? Yeah, protection or any kind of... Um, you know... Contract is a contract. Uh, you have to feel good about who you're in business with. Right. Um, you, hopefully, you don't have to pull out that contract. Right. And hopefully, you can just operate you know, as a team with your with your sales agent. Right. And, you know, and they're and they're honorable. Yeah, hopefully it's a good, happy relationship. I would hope so. <laughs> what if you do find that there are numbers or things missing or things in the contract that aren't being honored? Is it, again, uh, back to the entertainment lawyer? Do you call an accountant? I know forensic accountants have to come in and do audits. What about those steps? Are there any things that filmmakers should start to see as red flags? Well, you should always have an audit clause. Which should be in the contract. audits aren't cheap. So hopefully you don't have to fall to that. Now, this typically in the audit clause, um, it'll say something like, uh, if you're off by, if your distributor are off by five or seven and a half or more percent, then they have to fix the damage, A, and okay. B, pay your legal. Yeah. Excuse and me, your audit, audit not legal, your audit costs. Uh, but on the other hand, if they're not off by that percentage, five or seven and a half percent, you're stuck, and an audit may cost you twenty-five grand or, or more, or something like that. So, hopefully, you don't go down that road unless it's absolutely necessary. Right, but yeah. at least the audit clause protects you. You have to feel pretty you. sure they're sitting on a lot of your money. Right, because otherwise, it's not worth your time or an additional. Well, who wants money to spend that money? Spend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's, we, you know, they say. Stay out of court, you know, stay out of audits. Right, you know. right. And it's a very specific form of accounting, yeah. which we'll have a, a series on. But forensic accounting, like you said, is not inexpensive. It's not easy to source. That's right. And it's a very long, arduous road to go down if you're not sure that it's within or above that percentage yeah. range. Yeah. But yeah. Be very cautious. Good point.